Hey guys! So today I'm going to show you how to make your own eyeshadow pans to press eyeshadows in. And all you're going to need is some aluminum foil and you're going to need an e.l.f. quad. Now they used to sell these at Target. A lot of you probably have one already. If you don't, you can still get them from the e.l.f. website. They are only one dollar and they are fantastic. Uh, you can fit, you know, four eyeshadows in them. It has a big mirror on it. It's nice and sturdy. My original one I've had for many, many years and it has held up over time and I have since repurchased uh, additional quads. I, I think they're awesome. I think that for what you're getting for a dollar, it's a fantastic deal. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use a MAC quad if that's what you happen to have because see those little indentations? Because of that, you're not going to be able to use this because on the e.l.f. quad, they're just flat on the bottom. So anyways, this is what I recommend um, and it works great. I've already done more than one and it has worked out wonderful. So let me show you how to do it. Very, very simple. Anyone can do it. You're just going to take a piece of aluminum foil. I'm using regular aluminum foil. Some people like to use heavy duty. I prefer this because it's much easier to mold it when you use the regular but some people prefer the heavy duty because it's going to make the pan that you make a little bit sturdier. Um, but I don't feel like these eyeshadow pans that we're making need to be moved around a lot. So it only needs to be so sturdy. It's just holding some eyeshadow in it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to pull a very small piece out of the box and tear it. So you're not going to need a lot. So you just need a small strip like this. And what I'm going to do is just fold it in half. It doesn't even have to be perfect. You'll see why when we finish. So fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And that's what you're going to have after you fold it twice. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it over one of the holes in the quad. And let me adjust my camera so you can see really well. So you're just going to put it over one of the holes and make sure that you put it over there with enough material on the edge that you can mold it and bend it a little bit and then press down with your finger. And what you're going to do is you're just going to mold the aluminum foil to that hole. And you want to try to be as accurate as you can with this. It's really easy though. Just press down with your finger or your nail and mold that foil every, every little bit of the seam. right up against the like wall of the hole. Okay, so take it out now and this is what it's going to look like. Like that. And then straighten it out. Don't flatten it out completely, but just straighten it out so that it'll make it easier to cut it. And then right at the edge, not where it makes that mark in the center, but this outside edge because you want to have a lip so you can fill the eyeshadow into the foil when you're done. You're going to cut with your scissors right along that edge. And it's easy to cut because I'm not using heavy duty foil. So put the excess aside and then put the foil back 
in the hole and press it back down again and mold it again to the hole in the quad. Just like that. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to do what I explained about how to press a MAC pigment two videos ago. You're going to put your ingredients in here, mix it up, and then when it's the right consistency, scrape it into the aluminum foil. Just, just like I showed in my video um, how to press a MAC pigment. And then when you're all done, you'll be all set. So this is one this is one that is not in there that I made and this is one that is completely done. This is the melon pigment that I showed you in the last video pressed in the aluminum foil and then what I can do is either I can store it in one of these elf palettes like that or I can put it um, a small magnet piece of magnetic sheet like I showed you in the other video on the back of it and then put it in a Mac palette because it's going to be you know just the right size for that so that is it you guys um, if you didn't catch the video where I pressed the pigment uh, you can watch that video and I give you detailed instructions on how to do that but this is going to allow you to have pans that really aren't going to cost you anything except for maybe a dollar for this elf quad and then maybe I don't know how much is aluminum foil it's not very much it's very inexpensive one box of aluminum foil will make you all the eyeshadow pans you will ever need in your whole life <laughs> okay so that's it for today you guys and I'll see you next time bye